let's unbox all of these goodies that I got from GE Designs together. Now, if this is your first time here, my name is Matthew of Mixed Domestic, formerly Mr. I changed it to Mixed Domestic whenever I came out as non-binary and started using they, them pronouns. So I wanted my brand to be in alignment of what I stood for, which is that everyone's welcome. It's not a gendered experience. No matter what your gender is, who you are, your ilk, your flavor, your person, you are welcome to sew and craft with me. And if that sounds good to you, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and then hit that little ding button to get notified anytime new videos come out. A couple months ago, I demoed this Stripology ruler. It's a small squared one. I didn't even know what I had in my hands, and I'd had it for years. And for some reason, I chose not to use it until one day I did. Wow, did it blow my mind at how efficient this was at cutting strips, which those of you who have followed me know I do a lot of weaving, so that's important to me. And then that got me more connected with Gudrun, who is the owner of GE Designs. And I didn't realize all of the products that she carried, what all I'm able to accomplish with this beyond cutting strips, fabric bundles, clips, guides, trimmers, so many things that honestly impressed me as a maker and as an entrepreneur myself. And I try to align myself with companies that are aligned to my values of inclusion, diversity, equity, acceptance, everyone, there's a place for you in sewing, quilting, and crafting, and no one should feel excluded. And Gudrun and GE Designs is 100% aligned to that. She shared with me a lot of the things that she's doing with equity and inclusion, how it's infused in her brand and how she operates and navigates this niche of sewing and crafting. And wow, I knew that I needed to partner with her in a bigger way. So I became an affiliate, which I don't do a lot, at least a lot to which I promote. And since I know a lot of y'all are like-minded wanting to Put your money towards businesses that share your values whether that's important or not to yourself if you're aligned to my values of equity inclusion diversity then definitely this is another brand that you can support so let's go over all of the amazing things that i was sent and there is the goodies color club bundle that i'll open up and show you because these are gorgeous the first thing i want to do is go through these bundles of fabric this is part of the goodies color club so you subscribe to it get a different bundle every month such a great stash builder it's a half yard cut these are great all five and these three that i have are blenders for sure that can be used in a multitude of different quilting situations let me open them up so you can see this one is the January one. Oh, rosy cheek! And it comes with all of the different names of the fabrics in case you wanted to get some more. And then these are some basics that go with it. Let me do a partial open so we can see these. Honestly, for me, as someone who loves to weave, this is perfect because these five fabrics, I could just weave up and it would be gorgeous. Gorgeous! Gudrun definitely has a great eye because these are great fabrics. There's not a dud in any of these bundles. <laughs> All five of them are definitely fabrics that I would use here. And these bundles retail for $27.95, which is a great deal for five half yard cuts. Let me now show you the February one, which is mustard. Mustard is a neutral. I'm not going to argue about it. It literally goes with anything. And let me show you the mustard. Oh, la la. Gorgeous. You're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like, see, not a dud in the mix. Not a dud in the mix. Next up is green olives. Obsessed.
The presentation of these bundles is pretty supreme. Ooh. And some of these are manufacturers I don't know about. So QT Fabrics, great. Ooh. Pigment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. These are going to be great additions to my stash. G E Z clips. The large and a small size. This is the large one. It comes with. How many comes in it? How many? I don't see how many. Like, oh, right here. Comes with 40. That's a lot of clips. Right here. Yeah. These are cute. Yeah. These are great. It's a great size for lots of layers. This one, it's the standard size. Comes with 52. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, these are great. They're well made. I know that like clips aren't sexy, but I personally try to avoid pins as much as possible and use clips where I can. And these are definitely going to work. And then I don't have to worry about finding matching clips. Make sure that my Instagram photos and stuff look cute because there's enough to go all the way around. Two more in the bundle club that I'll show you. Next up is also part of the goodies bundle club. It's the Woodlands and Wildflowers. It looks like a collection by designer Stephanie Slowinski. And then look, QR code, fabrics that play well with the bundle, different patterns that you can make. Let's check out the fabric. This whole bundle, it's a stash builder's 84 bucks. Half yard cuts of these gorgeous prints. I'm up in gradient order. Definitely loving the vibe of this. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, so no, I fibbed. There are actually a total of 12 half yard fabrics in this bundle. Who are these? Here. I want to show you all of them together, but let me just do the same thing here. Mmm. Oh. Ah, oh, this is a beautiful collection, actually. Duh. Mm-hmm. Mmm, it's like a teal. For sure. These 12 fabrics are gorgeous. Let me put them next to each other. I can do this without messing things up. Right here. Yeah, right? Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Once again, this is the Woodlands and Wildflowers bundles. There are three, four sizes in total of these stripology rulers that do more than just cut strips that I'm gonna demo and show you the full utility of having something like this. And these are no longer the rulers that are just gonna stay hung up over there. I'm gonna use these a lot because wow, yeah. <laughs> Efficiency is where it's at whenever you only have a little bit of time. So I will demo these for you. So I got this Master Your Stripology Rulers guide with patterns on how to do 
flying geese easy, different charts to understand where to cut from to get half square triangles, some equilateral triangles, how to cut at 45 degree angles and what to get. So I am just going to show you how to easily create half square triangles using this non-slip stripology squared, which I didn't understand the squares. I would have just gone for the strips, but there's so much more you can do with this. You grab some of the blender so you can see it easily. These two. Holding it on the salvage, like so. Okay, so here we go with this. And then right here, I'm going to place this, line this up right here. On the folded edge, I'm lining this line. Grab my rotary cutter. I'm going to cut right here on the five. Boom. And then I'm going to cut here right on the zero. Da -da. Pull these out, pull these out, like so. Boom, boom, shake the room. Right? Bring out my big one, which is the Stripology Extra Large Ruler. Line it up once again, like so. And right here, cut on the zero. There are these ruler stickers. If these are cuts you're going to make a lot of. Because me, I, I'm stubborn and I'm not wearing my reading glasses. I need to. These have little arrows on them. Right here. So that I can go. Okay, five. Put it right here. So I know this is where I'm going to go. Oop. Ten. Here, because those are the cuts I'm going to make. Boop, boop, and boop. So that I don't accidentally cut the wrong thing. Go ahead and cut. You put it in here. You don't want to go to the end, right? You want to go to where you're inside of here. You never want to hit the end with your rotary cutter, because that's how you can dull it. As long as you don't do that, you're going to be good to go. Cut it on the 10. Cut it on the 5. Yeah. Now I have six beautiful five by five squares. And for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to show you how to do half square triangles out of these two squares and then four out of here. And so I am just going to take the lighter piece right here using my friction pen, going on the diagonal right here. Like that, good enough. And then another one right here. I'm going to go on both diagonals for the one where I get four out of it. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and put these together. I'm going to sew a quarter inch on both sides of these diagonals and then use this lovely thing to slice it and dice it. I'm sewing on the side of that line. I'm doing it right here also. And from this, I will get two half square triangles. Now, if you want to be adventurous, do the same thing here, but we're going to do it one quarter inch on the side of each of these diagonals. Yeah! And then the way to get four out of the square is just to sew around the perimeter. Yeah! Now let's start with the two five inch squares where you will get two half square triangles. And I am lining this right up on the three. Right here. Ta-da! 
and then cut. Mm. Now I've got two. I'll press them and show you how to square them off. Next is four. You can't tell, but there's a stitch line all the way around here. So I'm going to do the same thing here on the diagonal, but do it twice. And then now you have four half square triangles like this. Dum, 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 dum. Yes! And then this is where the super duper magic comes. This one where we sewed a quarter inch on both sides, you can get eight out of this one. I'll do the diagonals first. Like so. And then place it on the five inch square. Do it on the two and a half right here. Right here, do that one more time. Da. And we have a half square triangle. Ta -da -ta -ta -da, this size. And then these are point trimmers for three different triangles that are common in quilting. And honestly, I have an English paper piece quilt that I did that has a white background, and you can see the points through it. And this would have helped me so much if I would have trimmed those points. So I'll demo this for you. I will use the 45 degree point trimmer. It doesn't matter the size triangle, you're gonna put it all the way over to the edge in this corner. Like so. And like so. If you don't do that, whenever you press it open, you have these little tails. Like so, which aren't cute long term whenever you're doing multiple seams. This right here will probably have an eight intersections right here if you put all of them together, depending on how you align it. These little tails really get in the way and they don't look cute over time. Whereas with this one, with the trimmed tail, when I press it, like so, and there's no mess right here to deal with. Over time, the difference between this and this is going to make a big difference. So this right here, which has a quarter inch seam allowance on it, and that's traditional for quilting, will make all of the difference. So all three of these kinds of triangles, all the angles, 60, 45, 30, and 120. Now we are at the fun time to square these puppies off. And this is where the center squares become important. This ruler is quarter inch increments. This one is half inch increments. So for this larger square that was originally five inches by five inches that I made two half square triangles for, I am going to use the half inch one because it will get it to four and a half inches. Zoom in you here and then find the center see the diagonal line right here there we go right here on the diagonal see see look it's the square and this is what's unique about the stripology rulers is you don't have to move it see i'm doing both sides of this square Boom. Boom. Look at that. I can move this and then do it again. And then it will line up perfectly on the four and a half, four and a half right here. And trim one more time. Oh my gosh. This is so efficient. Blew my mind once I realized that the rulers did this too. Look. Look at that perfect. Perfect, perfect four and a half inch square for the half square triangle. You'll make sure every single one of these is the same. And then for these two size of squares, I can use the quarter inch ones. It goes smaller, so the quarter inch increments to do the same thing. Just line it up in the center. 
follow the same step. Diagonal slice, slice, move it. Center, diagonal slice, slice. It sounds like a system designed to create efficiency for quilters and sewists in a values-based way that are aligned to diversity, equity, and inclusion, and making sure that everyone feels welcome in this space and that no one group will gatekeep who can and cannot sew or quilt because everyone's welcome, right? And that's the motto and mantra of the mixed domestic environment is that everyone's welcome in my community. It doesn't matter your ilk, doesn't matter your mindset, doesn't matter where you come from, even what you think about certain issues. But the one rule is everyone needs to be welcome because whenever you don't want someone else to be there because of who they are, then that no longer makes it inclusive and it makes it impossible for everyone else to feel welcome. So on that note, I hope that you will support GE Designs. It's a company that I will stand by so much so that I now have an affiliate link. So check out that link whenever you want to shop with them. I'll get some money from that. So yay, <laughs> thanks for helping. But in addition, we're going to be putting our money towards values that are important to us and for driving an inclusive space for sewing, crafting, and the world and beyond. On that note, happy crafting.